As a floral designer, I know better than most people the importance of flowers and how much pleasure and enjoyment it brings into all of our lives. During these troubled times, let's share a bit of that flower love with our wider community. Let's put smiles on our neighbours' faces and people who walk past our front door by adding some flowers, either on the steps that lead up to your house, tying something onto a lamppost, dressing your doorway so your postman feels much better when he delivers your mail. So I've got a few simple ideas that you can come together with members of your family, get children involved and create something from nothing, basically. I've just salvaged a few items from the kitchen. So some old jars, some tin cans, some bottles, and I've upcycled them by using different strings and wool and twine, something like a can. You could paint it, you could cover it in fabric, you could cut up an old piece of curtain, cut down some denim jeans, cover them, just cheer them up. Get your children involved, put in stickers on them or, or put glitter on them. Really do something that's fun and upbeat. So something like a jar, all you need to do is just tie a little bit of wool on there, just keep binding it around, and then you've got a good covered container to add some flowers into there. So anything like this, you can upcycle and use. So these bottles here, I want to pop a few flowers into there. It could be anything. You could just go out into the hedgerows, gather some wild cow parsley, some blossom, some bluebells, some dandelions, whatever you've got but most of you possibly have got some flowers on your balcony, on your terrace, in your garden that you can pick. So let's add a few things into here. One of my favorite flowers are Aquilegia. I think they're absolutely charming. So I'm just matching the color of the flower there to the color of the bottle. And we'll pop a couple of tulips into here as well. So just dressing that. It could be a single stem of flower. It could be a multiple group of flowers, whatever you've got. And look at that, if you gave that to somebody, that would put a smile on their face instantly. But why not make a little collection of these items and group them together as I've done here. So here I've placed together a selection of the different bottles, all different heights, and I could group these around my doorway. I could put them at the entrance to, to the gateway where people walk past. And when people are walking, they're gonna enjoy the fragrance, the smell, and they're going to feel uplifted. How wonderful if you presented some of these to our, our vital workers who are doing that wonderful work there in our hospitals by coming and emptying our refuse bins, people working in shops, in care homes, then let them see these things and let them feel uplifted by the power of flowers. So have a go, salvage items from your kitchen, upcycle some containers, either buy a few flowers from your local florist, from supermarkets, or go out into the wild and pick a few dandelions, a few buttercups, and create something that makes everybody feel so much uplifted. So let's get arranging flowers and bringing pleasure into people's daily lives. Another idea is why not hang something on your gate, or on your door, or in a tree? And I've just upcycled again this glass vase here, and you could get a jam jar and tie different ribbons, different pieces of wool. I've got some pipe cleaners here. It can be any fun element. So you've got this sort of festival feel, this carnival feel. And having this hung outside, as the wind just gently blows, you've got movement there. And every week you could change its look by adding some flowers into it. I think during these difficult times, it's wonderful to, to share our flowers with other people. And certainly at my home here in Derbyshire, I like to have something outside the door. So when anybody comes to the house delivering, they, they feel a little bit uplifted. They feel more positive, more cheerful. And something like this, you could get children involved with and make a series, make a group of different hanging things by using some jam jars and some bottles or some cans and tie them in trees, have them hanging down from trees. And you've got that wonderful sort of floaty, mysterious, wispy feel that flowers can give. And all I'm doing here is adding in things from the garden. So I've got some Deutzia, which is a wonderful white shrub to grow, some gorgeous hanging pieces of laburnum, a little bit of syrinthe. Well, that doesn't matter. You don't need to know all the names of the flowers just get a mixed bunch from a supermarket and pop that into one of these glass vases. It could be some British Sweet Williams, which are 
all looking fantastic at the moment. Or it could be something that you've been and gathered on a walk. Perhaps some blossom, some tree blossom. Perhaps some new lime green leaves from the beech trees. Maybe it could be some buttercups, some dandelions, some campions that you just arrange in your, in your display. Whatever you've got access to will work. So all I've done here is just add a few flowers just into the bottle there and I'm going to hang that from my gate and just let everybody feel cheerful and uplifted by seeing this flower arrangement as they walk past. So a really simple and quick idea, but one that's good fun and enjoyable to make. So have a bash and create something with a few flowers from your garden. Just hanging these flowers in this tree makes me smile and flowers should be fun. They're an opportunity to give pleasure to everybody who walks past this tree. And I love all the ribbons and the frivolity and the festival feel that this arrangement brings. So why not make a hanging design? Hang it from a tree, from a lamppost, from your railings and celebrate the power of flowers and how they make us all feel so uplifted. Let's say thank you to our key workers and hang something on the door to celebrate that amazing work that they've been doing over the past few weeks and the ongoing months. So many people are putting themselves daily at risk and letting them know we care is so important. So as a florist, I'm used to giving flowers and saying to people a message that I'm thinking about them, I'm missing them, I want them in my life by that message that flowers gives. So I'm going to just make a little grouped bunch of flowers by just using some string, a few flowers gathered from the garden and just make a little tied bunch here. So just working flat onto the table, I'm going to just tie some string just onto some foliage here. It could be some cotton, it could be twine, it could be wire. You could even use some sticky tape to hold it together. And I've just gathered a few, few pieces of foliage, some eucalyptus here, which has got this wonderful scent that, oh, it's so, so stunning with that menthol fragrance. And all I'm doing is just arranging this in a little group so just placing these together, staggering different levels, different heights, some fantastic perennial flowering wallflower, but it could be anything. You could use whatever you've got in your garden, in your tub, in your window box. You could pick a few pieces of house plant. You could buy some flowers from, from the florist or from the supermarket, whatever there is out there. And I'm just gonna tie these together. So just tie those in a little knot there and we'll just neaten those stems away. So just chopping those stems down, just getting rid of those. So I've just, can you see, just made a little spray there. And an idea for something that you could do with, with your children and other family members is why not make a rainbow colored ring to hang on the door? So all I've done is I've just cut out the shape of the ring with some thick cardboard. I've scrunched up some newspaper and bound all the newspaper around there to give it some substance and then I've covered it with felt and fabric and then stuck onto here different coloured ribbons so it's got a real carnival it's got a real celebration feel about it and then what I can do every now and again I can just tie and fix a few flowers onto here to change its look so something like this is perfect to, to hang on the door to hang on your gate you could even tie it to a lamppost couldn't you and let people see all this wonderful colour and bring this colour into their lives which is so uplifting, it's so empowering and it's so positive and I think that is the thing that we're all celebrating at the moment, that positive message that flowers give us and during Chelsea week of course it's all about flowers. So here we are, something to hang on the door to say thank you to our key workers and celebrate that amazing strength and courage that they're giving out on a daily basis. Having this rainbow wreath hung on your door is bound to put a smile on everyone's face when they come to deliver the post, the paper, or the parcels. And of course, for everybody who walks past my doorway, it's going to put a smile on their face too. So why not make her a rainbow ring to decorate your door, add some flowers to it, and let's celebrate our gardens and Chelsea Flower Show Week and putting flowers right out there into the heart of the community. Imagine walking past the front of my house, this riot of carnival coloured flowers in these fun containers. It's bound to put a smile on your face and cheer you up as you walk past. 
flowers have the power to do that. So let's cheer up our communities, our green spaces and bring flowers out there into the heart of people's lives.